YouTube, it's your boy, it's Carter TV, and I'm back with chapter two of Secrets in the Streets, Change of Plans. The title is called Change of Plans. Now, in this episode, this is where Tony and Charlie, they begin their day, day, day mission. That's what I'm saying. We're going to start with Tony, start moving in on boss's territory. She's making moves, you know what I'm saying? She's knocking shit down, and she's, she's, she's putting her stamp on shit. You know what I'm saying? Tony's back with the vengeance. You know, and when a woman who's back with a vengeance, shit get ugly. You feel me? So, Tony starts off with going towards a lot of boss areas where he's making his money. And she starts to take over. You know, she starts to get his guys to switch sides and join up with her. You know what I'm saying? She's low-key moving. She's low-key doing under the radio. You know what I'm saying? She's making these moves. She's getting these guys to flip. She's getting these guys to do this and that under the wing. Now, some of the guys who are flipping actually are scared of Tony. She holds a lot of weight in these streets. For somebody who's been gone for a short period of time but comes back and get right to it, she's one of those type of women. You feel me? So, she's making these moves. She got a couple guys scared. She got a couple guys flipping. You know, she got guys... Who don't want to flip, they get killed on the spot. Oh, you don't want to join my team? Boom, you dead. That's how she's giving it up. So with all this going on, you see what I'm saying? With all this going on, Boss is unaware of this. His his priority is to get rid of her. You know what I'm saying? It's to get rid of her and KJ. So he has to get rid of the mother and the son. That's his main priority. You know what I mean? Him and Spider have a visit with Miss Indigo. They do not inform Miss Indigo of the situation. They think they can handle it on their own. And they think they don't need her help. You know what I'm saying? So they meet up with Miss Indigo. She basically asks them, how's the business going? How's things going in the streets? You know what I'm saying? How are you guys doing on your ends? You feel me? How would you do? You know, she basically asks them professional questions like if it's a job. Like the shit is regular. Like you guys are good. You guys need any help. You guys got any problems. She's very calm. She's very cool. She's down to earth. But she can get ugly just like any other woman could. You feel me? Boss, a spider is like everything is good. Spider look at boss because he's expecting boss to tell. He's expecting boss to be like, yo, we got an issue. But when boss don't say nothing, spider is questioning like, why you just ain't say something, bro? Like, So after they meeting with Miss Indigo, you know, after they meeting or whatever, <clears throat> excuse me, after they meeting, Boss and Spider have a conversation. Spider's like, yo, why didn't you tell Miss Indigo Tony's back? You know what I'm saying? Why didn't you tell Miss Indigo KJ's out here in the streets? Boss is basically like, yo, bro, we can handle this shit on our own. We two men with higher power right now. We don't need help from the higher ups. That'll make us look weak. You feel me? Especially weak, me, weak as a man. I'm not accepting that. Especially for no bitch. You feel what I'm saying? I'm a boss, nigga. I'm going to handle my shit. You down with me, nigga? Because we in it together, nigga. Just because she coming for me right now don't mean she won't be coming for your shit. Be like, bro, I ain't the main priority right now. But being that we in the same lane and we got to work together, this shit is going to bring me down too that we don't handle this properly. Remember, this is Tony we talking about. You know, this is Spider talk. This is Tony we talking about, son. We can't we can't sleep on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? She's 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 a lethal weapon out here. Niggas fear her still to this day. Boss is like, you right. That's why us two niggas gotta handle this. We gotta handle this bitch like we in the street, like any other nigga, son. And you know her son out here, and you know he lethal. Remember, he was under my wing. I know how to get this little nigga out the I know how to get this little nigga in the dirt. We gonna handle this. We, me and you gonna handle this. Spider goes, nigga, how we gonna handle this? You shot. You know what I'm saying? Who knows which, which, what her next move is? We got to think like if she's on our side. Like how would Tony move? You, you used to date the bitch. How, how would she move? How would she move? So boss is like, bro, to be honest, her next move is trying to take over our shit. We got to make sure our guys is on point. We got to make sure our guys know what's up. And we got to make sure none of them motherfuckers is scared to shoot this bitch on sight. You feel me? We got to put the word out. I'm pretty sure if it ain't now, it's got to be out soon. Got to get the word out to our niggas. You know what I'm saying? Shit got to be moved and got to be done quick. You with me, my nigga? He said, all right, bro. If shit get too hectic, my nigga, we got to tell Miss Indigo, son. 
We got to tell Miss Indigo. No matter the situation. You know what I'm saying? We got to inform her. If shit get too hectic, boss. He said, nigga, you sound like a little bitch. He said, I ain't trying to sound like a bitch. I'm playing this smart, nigga. This is a demon we dealing with. This is a demon we dealing with. You feel me? Like, you ain't getting that shit through your head. We've been down this road with this woman before, nigga. She don't play by the rules. This is the streets, nigga. This is the streets. He like, all right. All right. We going to tell. We going, we going. If shit don't work out, we going to go by your rules. Cool? So they make the agreement, right? They make the agreement. If shit don't go right, they going to inform Miss Indigo. Tony already made her move, as y'all can see. She already made her move. So boss and spider link up with a couple guys to put the word out. Listen, Tony's around. She's coming to snatch shit up. Be on the point. Kill that bitch on sight. Five minutes in on her head. That's just that. Y'all niggas hit the streets to get to work. A lot of niggas already know what's going on. So some of the guys started to inform Tony what's going on. Five million on my head, say less. Now that she got that, she goes to see Zoe. I know some of y'all like, ain't Zoe dead? Zoe didn't die. She got hit. She got hit. Zoe got hit in the shoulder. She got hit in the leg. She's been in the hospital. She's out. She's at home now. Tony goes sees her. With an unsuspected visit, Zoe answers the door. Tony? What the fuck? Hey, 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 I ain't got nothing to do. Tony wasn't knowing that was Zoe. She wasn't knowing that was Zoe. You know what I'm saying? Zoe was a good slate in her mind. So she was just like, this is a surprising visit. What are you doing here? Like, I thought you disappeared off the face of the earth. She like, I'm back in town, and I'm back to claim was mine. She said, I need help. So Tony is she rounding up her troops. She said, I need help. She goes, um, okay. As you can see, I'm, I was a little out of commission for a while. She said, you got shot? She like, yeah. Oh, shit. Damn. Um, I'm a, you don't know? She like, you know what? Uh, Star's dead. So Tony is taken back like, my grandson mother is dead is you shitting me she like yeah my friend is dead like Zoe started to feel a little bit emotional and before she could tell Tony who did it you feel me KJ shows up he shows up at Zoe's crib now remember last episode he got knocked out and left on the streets you feel me she shows up he shows up at Zoe's crib and Tony is taken back. She's like, the fuck? The fuck is this? Mom? The fuck you doing here? Nigga, what the fuck you doing out of jail? I got out of jail free card. Got out of jail free card. I thought you was across the state somewhere else somewhere right now. She's like, nah. I'm still taken back the fact that you in these streets. You know you labeled as a fucking snitch? Like, I wouldn't be surprised. KJ, like, I heard, I heard that nigga boss. Oh, so he's he's making moves. Boss is making moves. He's like, what the fuck you doing as old? I came to recruit, and look like you in need to be recruited as well. So he he was just like. Mm, going after boss. Yes, I am. You know, boss ain't the only nigga you gotta worry about. So she was like, Who else I gotta worry about? Who else I gotta worry about? Spider. It's him and him, him and boss running shit, man. Him and boss is running shit. Oh. So that's what it is. Spider and boss. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So this is what I want you to do, KJ. You fucking with mommy dukes? Or you doing a solo mission? Because you know you ain't going to survive out here too long being dolo. Especially being labeled as a fucking rat. He said, Mom, I'm going to link up with you. But after we done, we got unfinished business we need to settle. I'm pretty sure we do, son. So KJ's mindset, right, as of right now, he wants to get everybody who fucked him over, including his own mother. You know what I'm saying? So... Zoe never told KJ or Tony who killed Star. 
and Aaliyah. Leah's also dead. She never told him. She never got a chance to. So Tony Lee's, KJ Lee's, a plan is being developed. Zoe's back in the field. You know what I mean? She's back in the field, right? Now we go to Charlie. Charlie, who linked up with Sticks, he linked up with Dale, and he's making moves on his end. Um, he's making moves on his end. He also get he also looking for a little bit of help from the police force. He needs a little bit of information on what's going on, what's what. The little information that he did receive is that Sticks, I mean that is, Spider and Boss is the main head honchos, but there's somebody on top of them, and he wants to know who's on top. And Dale's like, nigga. It's not that hard to figure out who's on top. Who's he never knew he never knew who Miss Indigo was. He never knew who Miss Indigo was. Dale's gonna find out for him though. You know what I'm saying? Dale's gonna have to find out. So Charlie's basically like, yo, you know with these two niggas running shit, who's they supplying the man? You know what I'm saying? Who's making shit go for them? The four henchmen is gone. So Dale was like, you right. Boss, ha Boss and Spider been beating up with somebody to conduct business. Spider was like, yeah. So whoever's the head person in charge right now is taking over everything. When I mean everything, they got motherfucking police in their pockets, nigga. Like, we really dealing, we really going against the fucking army, Charlie. So I don't know how you will come out on top of this shit. Like, how you want this shit to end? Charlie goes, I want this shit to end with me back at home with my girl and my son. That's my that's my escape plan. I'm gonna finish what I started in New York, and then I'm out of here, bro. He's like, where you gonna go? I'll let you know when I get there. But as of right now, we gotta figure out shit. Shit is getting real hectic in these streets. It's a head honcho over boss. It's a head honcho over spider. He was like, any word from Tony? He was like, nah, she's a ghost in the wind. Now they don't know Tony's around. But we did run into KJ. Yeah, we know that. But y'all know he labeled as a rat in these streets. This is Spider talking. He's labeled a rat in these streets. He's out of jail. The nigga was facing the leg big. He must have flipped it on somebody else. That's going to be the only explanation. And whoever he flipped it on, you feel me? Whoever he flipped it on, officers on their end must have put shit together and just threw it on. They got out of jail. Now, with him being labeled as a rat, anybody don't really fuck with him. He's a mark man wherever he go. So it's a, it's a, it's just a matter of time before he's gone. Charlie was like, yeah, but KJ, he's a beast in the street to himself, my nigga. Niggas may still label as a rat, but that nigga, he'll kill somebody in a heartbeat. Y'all know that. He's like, yeah, we got a lot of shit on our hands. We got a lot of shit on our hands. So what's the tip? What's the move? Find out what you can find about. Who the head honcho with boss and spider is? Sticks, me and you gonna move on spider's territory. We gonna start a conflict of interest between spider and boss. We gonna get them two to fight each other. At least the war will die down a little bit. You know what I mean? With them beefing at each other's necks, it'll cause a diversion for us to make a move. You feel me? It will cause a big diversion for us to make a move. He said, that's a good plan, Charlie. Get these two head honcho it's like, yo, whatever happened to Mink? I don't know. He's lost in the wind himself. Maybe we can find Mink. We also know something, too. Now, Mink, he went chasing after his brother. Last season, he ended up killing his brother. You know what I'm saying? For his brother did. With the backstabbing and shit. So, he ends up finding his brother back home. Back in Russia. You know what I'm saying? Found him. And he smoked him. He's on his way back to the States. You know what I'm saying? His father was killed. Mink's father was killed when he left to go after his brother. Um, his father was killed by Miss Indigo. She ended up knocking him out. Clearing him and making his whole entire movement hers. So now she's the plug for everything. Guns, drugs, prostitution. This and that and the third. She controls fucking everything. Miss Indigo made a big move and she made big changes. So she has her hands in the cookie jar. You see what I'm saying? That's going to be a hard task for Charlie. That's going to be a hard task for Tony. Because who? how you go against somebody who has a fucking armory? 
She has the army in the palm of her fucking hands. She has the military in the palm of her fucking hands. She has the police force in the palm of her fucking hands. She has the drugs in the palm of her motherfucking hands. How do you go against somebody like this? How? So, Mink is on his way back to the States. He's on his way back to New York. And as he's moving around, he knows how to find who he needs to find. You know what I'm saying? His first person he come across since he's back in the States is Sticks. He come across Sticks. He sees Sticks. Sticks. So Sticks looks at him like he never seen the kid before. Mink got a whole little, little, little makeover. He got little facial hairs now. His hair's a little like, a little shaggy, like from Scooby Doo. He got a little shaggy hair with the facial hair. So he's kind of got a little different appearance. He's a little buff in the shoulders and a buff in the arms. He gained a little weight. You know what I mean? So Sticks is like, but I fucking know you. He's like, it's me. It's Mink. Sticks looking at him. Mink? Damn, bro, you, you gained some weight. You shagged out a little bit. Be like, yeah. Russia treat me good when I'm home, baby. He said, oh, you went back to Russia. I had a little family issue, issue that I had to take care of. And then it's a flashback of him killing his brother for killing their uncle. So he's like, what's been going on, man? What's been going on? Where's, where's Charlie? Charlie's around, but uh, wait, how's things with you? Are you good? Like, he like, yeah, I'm, I'm back. Uh, have you, have you, you know, seen my father around? Like, have you heard anything? He's like, oh, you don't know? He's like, what? Your father was killed a month ago, bro. So Mink is like, what? It's like, yeah, he was killed a month ago. Who did it? That's what they all trying to figure out. But whoever killed your pops, man, they took over his whole entire organization. So Mink put two and two together and it, and it, it kind of dawned on him. Like, that explained why a certain shit was just wasn't accumulating back home. Normally, when the family is making money, a lot of money is sent back home. You know what I mean? No money has been sent back home since he's been home. And he noticed this. That. So he come back home. He come back to New York and he find out his father's dead now. So now he's out for revenge. Whoever did this is going to fucking pay. This shit is unbelievable. So he finds that out. Sticks is like, I'm sorry to, you know, you know what I mean? My condolences. He's like, it's cool. It's cool. Now that I know why he wasn't sending back home. So Minka's like, fuck. Not my, not my pops, man. He said, did you ever find your brother? He said, yeah, I took care of that. Now I got to take care of something here. So Sticks asked at him, and he asked him, he's like, yo, you sure you're going to be good for this, man? He said, yeah, this shit, I'm going to be good. Tell Charlie I'm back. You know what I'm saying? If he need me for anything, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go find me a place to crash, and he take my number down. So he gives Sticks a number cell phone number. Six is like, all right. Six plug his number in. I'm going to hit you when I come across Charlie. So they disperse, right? Dale meets up with Boss. You know what I'm saying? So Boss basically informed Dale. He's like, yo, I got to put you on game. Tony's back. So Dale is like, nigga, what? Tony's back. Are you serious? We thought that bitch was going in the wind. Nah, she back. She's back. She's really back. On top of she's back, I got to worry about her rat ass son running the fuck around. I said, yeah, I know. I'm surprised to see his ass too. So that, he was like, came across KJ. He caught the drop on me. What happened? I fired back, he got, he got ghosts. So he basically lied to boys. He didn't tell him that Charlie's back. He's like, he, he tried to come for you too. This shit is about to get ugly. He was like, yo, but being that Tony's back, who's um who's supplying guns now? You know, I heard old boy got killed. He said, you ain't got to worry about that. But whoever took out old boy had honcho now. He said, oh, shit. So you don't even know who the head honcho is. So Bosco, nah, I don't. 
shit getting ugly in these streets. So Sticks sent Dell a text, Minx back. I said, oh shit. I think I just got a drop on KJ. He said, word, I'm gonna handle that for you. He said, you sure? I could send a couple guys, man. And you know that motherfucker a demon. Come on, man. I grew up with KJ. He ain't gonna get the drop on me a second time. He said, all right. So boom, he did, Dell did. Boss decides to follow Dell. He sent a couple guys, go follow Dell. So follow where you go. Sticks, Texas, Charlie, Mink is back. So all three of them made up, right? So Boss, a little henchman that was following Dell, he sees Dell, he sees him talk to Sticks, and he sees him talk to another source of person. He takes a picture, he sends it to Boss. He said, that's fucking Charlie. Charlie's back. Kill all three of them motherfuckers. The dude do the drive-by. He, he get a couple guys, right? He go get a couple guys, Dale, Charlie, and Sticks is talking. Mink is back, I, I, I. So Mink is on his way to link up with them three. Dale also informs Charlie, Tony's back. What the fuck? So this is taking Charlie back by surprise. But he also, he's really not surprised because he's expecting her to come back. But he just ain't expected to be so soon. And in the midst of them talking, Mink is on the way. The drive-by happens. Shots ring out. Boom, 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 boom. Right? About two cars full of guys jump out, start spraying at all three of them. Boop, 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 boop. I'm talking machine guns. I'm talking MAC-10s, Glocks. They start letting them have it. AKs. Shootout happened. Boom, 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 boom. They take cover. They they in a shootout now. Bang out. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Mink comes in. Fucking grenade launcher. And he blows one of the motherfucking cars up. Boom. Stop. Oh, no. Sticks. Dale and Charlie is like, what the fuck? is taking way the fuck back. Because they wasn't expecting that. The dudes get out of there. They dip off. So, Dale was like, what the fuck? Here come Mink. What's up, boys? Did you miss me? We in chapter two. Daily right shout outs for my last video. Gotta get a shout out to my bro. All things take. Shout you out, bro. I see you. Gotta get a shout out to SJW. SJW. Gotta get a shout out to you. Gotta get a shout out to CC Parker. Gotta give a shout out to you. Gotta get a shout out to Lady Shay. Lady Shay, that's her name. And last but not least, Honest Lady. Those are the five people that comment. Keep the comments coming on these videos. Be the first to comment when they drop. Get a shout out. Um, it's your boy, it's Carter TV. I'm out.